All right, the last approach didn't work, so let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of this guy right here. And let's look back at this again. All right, let's think through what we want to have happen. If you click the completed toggle button on a, uh, on a node like this, and that node has children, we want to mark all of the children complete. And we can figure that out by comparing if the tree that changed equals the tree that's, um, the tree that's inside the task queue item component. So the next thing we want to have happen is if you are a child node of a tree and you, and you are marked as completed, and it makes all of that tree's children completed, then the tree should also become marked as completed. So basically what we have going on right here, if we have, um, right, we just have, let me add one more subtask to here. If we have three subtasks, two of them are already complete and we mark the third one as complete, Right, we have three out of three completed, so that way, so that means that this one should also become completed, right? And that can be expressed by checking how many of the children are completed. So let's get started on that. What we'll do is we'll only do this if um, the identifier is um, the completed identifier. And let's step out the if clauses for what each possible tree should do. So we'll do the first one if. Um, let's do one for if our children were completed. So that's if tree that changed is a child of our tree. We're gonna do one thing. And else if, let's see, if our parent changed, we need to uh, handle that. We wanna do if tree dot is a child of, and then um, let's see, tree that changed. Tree that changed might be our parent. We're gonna do something else. And then else if, um, if we changed, if tree that changed equals tree. If we changed, then we know we're gonna do this thing again. All right, we'll just, I'll just grab this. Whoops, copy, paste. Now, we don't wanna mark it immediately as true. Um, what we want to do is grab the uh, current property of the tree, this guy right here, we want to grab this. And to make this work, we have to cast it because this doesn't implicitly convert to Boolean. We could do that this way, dot operator bool, but that's ugly. So we'll just do a C style cast bool, like that. All right, let's uh, run it, let's see what we get. All right, we'll do one, two, three, four, and one, two. And let's see, um, let's mark this guy. No, let's do this one right here. So we'll mark this and then we we'll uncheck it. Okay, so that's cool. So if these guys are checked, um, we can check them and uncheck them. So that makes sense. What happens if we add a subtask? All right, so it updates the count, but it doesn't update the parent node. So we still have some more stuff to do, but it works partly. So we can uncheck this and do that. Okay, all right, so there's some more stuff to work on. All right, well, we can uh, close this for a bit. Let's deal with the first if block. If the tree that changed is a child node. If we want to use that calc function that we have down here, um, where is that guy? This thing, if we want to use this, we have to move it, um, we have to move calc before Calc needs to be before here if we want to use it. So let's move it to the utilities class, or to the utilities file. So let's also refactor it to, um, we'll refactor it a little bit so it will return whether or not um, num children equals num completed. So let's grab this, copy it, go to utilities, and we will put it in the CPP file first. Copy, paste that there. Let's change the return type to bool. And let's move this guy here, put that here. And let's add some uh, description for it. We'll do uh, computes the number of children and number of children with the completed property marked as true. Returns true if num completed equals num children. We spell that right. All right. So all we have to do here is just add a, a return uh, num children equals num completed. 
that's the first part. And we should probably return that same thing here. All right, so now we have it in our uh, utilities file, so now we can use it here in our task queue item component. We just need to uh, make sure it's included, and it already is included, so we're good to go. We'll do what we did always before, int num children equals zero, num completed equals zero. Now we can call it um, in our tree.set property. Tree.set property, we're gonna do our completed property. Now we're gonna do calc tree, oops, num children, num completed, and we'll give it the undo manager. Owner dot get undo manager. Why isn't it uh, showing green? Oh, what did I forgot? I forgot to do something. Oh, I forgot a semicolon right here. It's very important. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, we copied this. We didn't remove it. So we need to cancel that out, build it. There we go. Build succeeded. Okay, let's try this out. All right, let's add some nodes, add a node with a couple kids to it, and we will click on the node with uh, multiple children. Okay. It's not staying clicked. That's super weird. Why doesn't it stay uh, checked? Clearly checking it. All right, let's, uh, time to debug. Let's add a breakpoint right here on this for loop. And let's see what happens when we set a child's property. All right, and let's just uh, step over child.setProperty. Okay, so it jumped into the subtask. Subtask is having its property changed. Let's just step over all of this until we exit whatever is forcing us to call this. Let's see where this is happening. There's a task queue item component right here. There's a task queue item component right here. So we want to step out. We want to get to this and exit here. Okay, so we'll just press continue. Let's, geez, we got another one. Here's one here. Here's one there. And again. Oh, some more. There's one here, one there, one there, and one there. So there's a lot of recursion happening. Geez, we can already see that's going on here. Okay. So we'll step over again. Remember, we want to get this one. Where is the one that we want? We want this to move all the way up here. That's what we want to do. So let's just step on out. We'll keep stepping out. Keep stepping out until this one is at the top. Undo manager, almost there. Almost there. All right, and are we done? Oh, one more child, okay. Step on over. Okay, there we go. Now we have gone through all the children. And step out, let's push play. Okay, cool, all right. Now we can dig through this debug output and see what's going on. So we clicked on task Q1, that's the first one we clicked on, right? Yeah, we clicked on task one. So let's see, property changed right there. And then, oh, it happens again, property changed. It happens again, property changed. And again, property changed. This is all for task one. It's calling a bunch of stuff for this tiny little tree. Like we only have like, you know, six or seven nodes. And uh, there are also a lot of calls to this update label text. Any calls of these are causing tree property changes because of how our label dot on text change lambda works. If we go down here, label dot on text label dot on text change. That's adjusting the property. Okay, so. Uh, we should only do that when the name property is actually changed or needs to be changed. Also, let's see, let me go back to this. Um, let me disable this breakpoint. What happens if we mark a node with children as complete? Okay, well, that works. What happens if we mark, um, mark a child as incomplete? It causes all of the children to become incomplete, which is weird. So that's something that um, we need to fix. 
So we have some work to do in the logic here to make this work the way we want. We want to be able to click this, click this, it lights those up. If we click these two guys, it does that correctly. But if we click on this, we want, and sorry, if we click on this in its uncompleted state and mark it as completed, we want it to mark these guys as completed. It currently does not do that. So that's something that we need to work on still. We're going in the right direction. We have this working if we do that. We can do that with the rest of these, bam. Oh, it didn't do it for the root node. So that's another thing that's weird. Okay, so we definitely have some work that needs to be done on this.